Hello and welcome to the EOBoard application video. Here we'll be covering the status board and some of the features and updating your status. Alright, let's get started. As you can see here, I've already launched the application from the uh, application shortcut on the desktop. And you can see that uh, this is the standard view for the in out board, status board. Um, you can see that I'm in the all group and uh, each of these groups are configurable to your company and you can place users into um, what group you may need. Um, this is the basic view of the status board. Uh, you can see several options um, at the top that you can configure by adding, re quickly removing um, cell phone numbers, uh, friends, uh, anything you would would need to see on the status board. These are also um, configurable so you can actually add uh, headers um, and customize these how you see fit which we will cover in another video. Um, you can view this in a mini view which gives you a quick overview of uh, all the users and a smaller more compact view uh, and you can see that these are color coded. Now you have several options for updating your status. Um, first you can quickly um, right click the down arrow on the status button and choose one of the customizable status options. Uh, you can also right click on the pencil in the uh, system tray which is there by default and will stay there even if you close the application and reopen it. Um, right clicking on the button will bring up several options that you have. Um, one of them being the status option, which you can choose your status. You can click on the status and it will bring up the update status box. Each of the status options is completely configurable to allow you to set a default return time. Here you can see that the out gives you an unknown date and time as the lunch takes the current time and adds a half an hour to it. So each one of these can have certain lengths of time for a status and be completely configured. As an option, you can override the default statuses using the buttons. You can pick a date. You can adjust the return time. You can leave a comment. You can also use uh, a counter for um, displaying in the right corner that displays exactly how much time is left. Uh, in your status for return. You can set an auto status if you know your, what time you're uh, actually going to be back. For organizations with multiple locations you can choose a location. Um, you can also pick a customer. Now once you're done configuring your status just click the OK button and your status will be changed. Another option you have is the ability to change multiple user statuses at one time. Now what this option allows you to do as a receptionist, group manager, or admin, you are given the right to adjust other people's status. A receptionist or administrator can change anyone's status. However, a group manager will be limited to a certain group that they are part of. For example, if I was part of the management group, I could only change the status of the users in the management group. Now once you choose to change the statuses and click OK, you will get the pop-up update status window. And you can do all the same functionality except that you're doing it from multiple statuses. So if I pick out and an hour, this will update the statuses of all the users within that group. Once again, thanks for taking the time to view one of our EO board videos. If you would like some further information on our product, please go to www.eoboard.com.